The World Peace Pageant 2018 presents Proposals for the Achievement of Denuclearization on the Korean Peninsula. Moment ago, it was a beautiful blue sky. And blue sky changed to be grayish color. Silent. Gradually, it changed to be red. The red is fire and blood. The end is black. ただいま奉納いたしております。原爆死没者名簿には午前550名のお名前が記されています。昨年までに奉納いたしました方々と合わせますと30万8725名がなります。平和宣言皆さん黒く焼け焦げて散らばる多数の屍その間を縫って神は縮れ真っ黒い顔をした人々が焼けただれ裸同然で剥がれた皮膚を垂らし燃え広がる炎の中を水を求めてさまよう目の前の顔は死体で
and policymakers threaten their use, we are in the perilous situation where their horror could leap into our present at any moment. This is why we have to learn what happened under the mushroom cloud 73 years ago. We have to spread throughout the world our Hibakshas' ardent wish for nuclear abolition, symbolized in their message that no one should ever suffer as they have, and pass it on to the next generation. This June, the U.S. North Korea summit was held, where both leaders signed a joint statement in which it stated, quote, the United States and the DPRK will join their efforts to build a lasting and stable peace regime on the Korean Peninsula. The DPRK commits to work toward complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. This shows the start of efforts to ease tensions on the Korean Peninsula peacefully, and from this we expect steady and concrete actions will be brought about by further dialogue. In order to accelerate this momentum, it is essential for civil society to share in our wishes for peace and help create an environment that allows nuclear weapon states to set an example. Hence, it is truly significant that you have organized this event in the United States to call for a peaceful world free of nuclear weapons, and I extend to you my deepest respect. Within civil society, Mayors for Peace, an organization over which the city of Hiroshima presides, and whose membership now exceeds 7,600 cities in 163 countries and regions, will also strive to strengthen the international trend towards nuclear abolition. I would like to ask all of you to continue to do your utmost to eradicate the absolute evil of nuclear weapons and to realize a peaceful world together with us. In closing, I extend my best wishes for the good health and happiness of all concerned. August 5th, 2018, Matsui Kazumi, Mayor, the City of Hiroshima. Responding to the Mayor of Hiroshima, Mr. Kazumi Matsui, and all peace lovers, our World Peace Pageant proposes all leaders in the world, including President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, to visit Hiroshima to touch the heart of Hibakusha and realize the reality of the atomic bomb, as President Obama did. Because the abolition of nuclear weapons is not an issue of some countries, but also it is the issue of all humankind and the entire planet. We believe this is the true starting point of denuclearization on the Korean Peninsula. Listen again to the words of a Hibakusha, Ka Sueishi, who left us before she passed away. I saw tiny white spot, but somehow, a couple of seconds later, extremely, very powerful flash. Moment ago, it was a beautiful blue sky. And blue sky changed to be grayish color. Silent. Gradually, it changed to be red. The red is fire and blood. The end is black. That's burn, tree, house, human being. It's just like a charcoal color. I heard that neighborhood people, and including my father, 
Yararita, Yararita. That means I'm hurt. Come back from my backside yard. At that time, I didn't know he was a bird. This boy must have only one cross. That's all left. Otherwise, they go wear the summer cross. But look at the hot summertime. But you, the top, you have to have a protection. But the cross, look at that. That's real wintertime cross. Remember, Hibakusha. I want you to memorize the word Hibakusha, which means atomic one survivor. I'm the one called the last person to Hibakusha. I don't want anybody to call Hibakusha. Anybody, just a couple questions. Is anybody has a question, young generation, anybody? Come on. Don't be bashful. Come on. Nan the wing got a question that's the child. Oh what young again kin of chin. Um how's everybody doing? My name is Dan. And uh, I'm just hoping that humanity doesn't I mean that we 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 never have to repeat ourselves again. And I and I think that um I think that um this is a this was a bad time in American history, and I think that um, retribution should be. Uh, I think the the U.S. should uh, always remember this, you know, and let this be a lesson throughout the world, and uh, understand that um, with bombs, it's, it's, it, it kills and it's uh, and it's cruelty, you know, and um, and this is something that we we really don't need in the world today. established institutions and treaties that work to avoid war and aspire to restrict and roll back and ultimately eliminate the existence of nuclear weapons. And yet that is not enough. For we see around the world today how even the crudest rifles and barrel bombs can serve up violence on a terrible scale. We must change our mindset about war itself. memory of the morning of August 6th, 1945, must never fade. The United States and Japan forged not only an alliance, but a friendship that has won far more for our people than we could ever claim through war. An international community established institutions and treaties that work to avoid war and aspire to restrict and roll back and ultimately eliminate the existence of nuclear weapons. And yet that is not enough. For we see around the world today how even the crudest rifles and barrel bombs can serve up violence on a terrible scale. We must change our mindset about war itself.